Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 98 VBA 2010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to uh, connect to all of the spreadsheets in a folder uh, with uh, your active data objects. Um, so we're going to get the information out of these folders. We're going to combine these and we're going to combine them all together. Um, so in your examples file that you've downloaded, I've put a folder to uh, and in here I've got three files and in each of them uh, I've just got a list of values like so uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all these values out using my SQL uh, and then I'm going to combine them all into one spreadsheet so um, I'm going to follow on from the one I've just been doing so I'm going to delete that information and go into my code um, so the bit I'm interested in changing is this bit in the middle here so i just want to take that out uh, and i'm also going to take the count out for now as well i'm still going to need the count but it's not going to be there so um, i'm also going to need to import my uh the connection file so let's if you go into your examples and the ss connection module uh, open uh, and I'm going to be manipulating this function slightly at the moment it uh, pulls through the string database path it has it already in here so what I'm going to actually want to do is I'm going to delete that uh, and delete that whole line uh, and I'm going to put by valid as a string so bow wow as string and then we also need to remove that there as well and we need to remove it down here so now when we call this function we're going to pass it the name of the excel file um, so let's go back into our sheet uh, so we're going to need to call connect spreadsheet and then we'll just give it the object file so object file dot path uh, and before I do this I actually want to put in an if statement so if object file dot path uh, and what I actually want to do is if right bracket that comma four equals uh, we actually want five, five equals dot xlsx uh, or, and then let's just copy that. And we want four equals dot xls uh, because we don't want it to try and connect to any files that aren't dot uh, xlsx or dot xls um, so we want it to ignore all the other ones uh, so let's do our end if down here uh, and we are going to need to create ourselves a record set object up here so let's create that as an object uh, and then we need to write our sql string so SQL SDR uh, we need to declare it up here so dim SQL SDR as string and then down here SQL SDR equals select user underscore ID comma name comma city comma age from and then we want our sheet one dollar and that's our SQL string and then we're going to open up our record set so rs dot open and then SQL string comma db cunt uh, and then 
we just need to go if rs dot record count is greater than zero then and if uh, and we're actually going to want two counters so and I'm going to start calling them counters again because I'm fed up with them being called count so I'm going to keep typing them wrong all over the place so if rs dot record count is greater than zero then we want to uh, 4x equals 1 to rs dot record count and let's use i not x and we'll have to declare i up here integer and then counter as integer and the master counter as integer and we're going to set master counter here equal to one and we're going to set counter equal to two uh, i want to take the counter uh, and i'm going to set it equal to two here uh, because i want the counter to be refreshed each time i uh, connect to an instrument. And actually, I don't need the extra counter, so let's get rid of the master counter and that counter there. And that master counter. And let's just put counter equals one, because I just realized I've got the I, so I don't need to have another counter as well, because I can just use the I. Um, uh, so we want to do rs.move next. Uh, and in between, we just want to go for uh, with. Uh, this workbook dot sheets sheet one end with I want to do dot cells and then counter comma one dot value equals rs zero and then let's just copy this another three times and we want one two three um, and so that's just going to put that record set out onto our um onto our sheet uh, and then move on to the next record and so after we've done our loop and after that if we just want to close our record set off so our dot close and make sure we do rs set rs equals nothing because otherwise we're not going to be able to reset it back at the top uh, up here we're not going to be able to open it um, bear in mind we haven't actually set it up here so set rs equals create object and then ADADB dot record set. Um, I don't like having that E like that because I'm fussy. Right, uh, so RS will close set RS equals nothing. Uh, and then we want to close the database. So call close uh, spreadsheet. So that's just calling our close spreadsheet function which just closes the connection down. Uh, so it's gonna in turn go through all of the files, check whether or not they're Excel. Uh, if they are, it's gonna call our connection module to connect to that particular spreadsheet. It's then gonna run our select query and put the records onto our sheet. It's then gonna close that off and go on to the next one. Um, and then it's gonna go all the way through and then it's gonna be done. So if I press play now, and it's going to give me an automation error, which is not surprising really, um, since I have put so much code in. So, cool, connect. So, it doesn't like my SQL string. Um, so let's just stop it at that point and press play. 
and see what our SQL string is. So question mark SQL str. Okay, let's just go into one of our. Ah, okay. Um, so I haven't changed where the folder is looking because I want to be looking in folder two, not folder. So let's change that to folder two. Press stop. Uh, and then let's press play again. And now it's all going to work fine. And when we go into sheet one, magic moment, it's going to bring through 25 because somewhere out there I've done something wrong. So let's go into our code. So number one, I haven't upgraded my counter. Equals counter plus one. And I'm putting all the values in the same column. And I hope you noticed that as I was going along, uh, that I put them all the same. And we're laughing at the fact that it was going to happen. Um, <laughs> so uh, let's press play now. And then look at our object. And you'll see it's brought through all the records from the different spreadsheets. Uh, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So now I'm a very happy man. Um, so uh, there's a contrast, there's a lot of code there. If you haven't been copying along, you can download it from our website, uh, along with the SS connection module, which is in the download from the website. The link will be in the description below. Um, but that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully that makes uh, all makes sense. If it doesn't, then please drop any questions in the comments below. Um, and as I said a couple of tutorials ago, uh, if you've got any ideas for examples you want in my new series coming soon where I'm going to create lots of uh, different Excel templates, um, then please, please drop them in the comments below uh, or I'm probably going to have a little cry. Uh, so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.